subgroup meta-analysis with a binary outcome and an effect uh, size which is the risk ratio in stata to plot forest and funnel plots so what is a binary outcome a binary outcome is a variable or an outcome or a data that have two levels in it two categories either yes or no life or dead agree disagree uh, have uh, the disease doesn't have the disease smokers non-smokers and the uh, estimate of the effect size which is risk ratio is defined as the ratio of the probability of an event occurring in an intervention or experimental or exposed or treated group compared to the probability of the same event happening in a control or a reference or an exposed group what is a meta-analysis and subgroup meta-analysis meta-analysis is a statistical method that combine data extracted from several independent research study whether these studies are clinical or medical or healthcare uh, the objective of meta-analysis is pooling uh, the the data and determining the overall estimate of the effect size in this case is the risk ratio in a intervention group relative to the control group those studies that addresses the same scientific medical research or clinical question subgroup meta-analysis is a meta-analysis in which the studies or the data in the studies are separated or segregated based on a variable or a characteristic such as the gender of participant male or females or the ethnicity of the participant and so on so the meta-analysis will split the uh, studies based on a variable or a factor for example the gender males or females then it will pool the data for the males and the females and calculate the overall effect size for males and females and then compare the uh, outcome for the pooled overall effect size for males and females the meta-analysis also will uh, test the heterogeneity variability or inconsistency among the results extracted uh, from the studies by performing a heterogeneity test and an I squared will be calculated which is based on a percentage with a p-value given if the I square is uh, equal to zero then there is no heterogeneity among the results or the data extracted from those studies and if the I squared is a hundred percent then that indicates um, maximum heterogeneity meta-analysis also will produce a forest plot forest plot is a diagram or a graph that displays the summary of the meta-analysis by producing the uh, estimate of effect size the risk ratio for each individual study the participant number in each study the grouping uh, in each study the number of event in each study the p-value the 95 percent confidence interval and the percentage of weight so forest plot is made up of three sections the first section is a descriptive statistics the second section is a diagrammatic representation of the descriptive statistics and the third section is the overall 
statistical analysis for heterogeneity and the estimate of the risk ratio. The meta-analysis also will generate a funnel plot. The objective of the funnel plot is to test whether there is publication bias by plotting a scatter plot and on the x-axis will display the um, estimate effect size for each individual study um, and on the y-axis is the standard error. Here in Stata data view I had inserted a data taken from 12 studies, clinical studies numbered from 1 to 12 with a label of study ID. Each study had recruited participants and grouped them into a intervention group or treatment group and into a control group and the number of events uh, uh, occurring uh, in the uh, exposed group is recorded here and in the control group also recorded for the event occurring for the event no occurring not occurring in the uh, exposed and event occurring in the control and event not occurring in the control with a total number for each group so there are here several variables uh, describing the uh, uh, events happening in each study and the objective of the study is to compare the relative risk uh, between the exposed group and the control group. Here on the far right hand side is the, uh, a factor or a variable or a characteristic variable which is gender, um, whether have a male or a female. And the, as shown here, six of the studies only recruited males and the uh, next six one uh, had recruited females. Here the outcome or the recorded or the measured outcome is binary as the outcome or the variable have only two levels in it, either the event occurring or not occurring. So it is binary or binomial and to perform meta analysis on the uh, data here extracted based on the uh, risk uh, ratio uh, and also in in fact doing a, we could do here uh, two type of meta-analysis either a binary uh, um, meta-analysis for the 12 studies or subgroup uh, the perform subgroup meta-analysis uh, for the male and the females and then compare the outcome or the output for both. And the way to do uh, subgroup meta-analysis in Stata, in the section here for the command and on the top, click on statistics, scroll down until you find uh, an options or a statistical function, which is a meta-analysis. Click on that, then a new window will appear or a form to fill for the meta-analysis. There are several sections here. We will fill some of them, not all of them, as the interest here is to perform subgroup meta-analysis. And the first step here is to declare what type of data and what type of meta-analysis to perform. And since our outcome is binary, then we will compute and declare the effect size, which is the risk ratio for two groups comparison of binary outcome. Once this is ticked, then in the next section here, two groups, the first group, the second group, the exposure group, and the control group, and here fill it with the number of success, which is the uh, T success and number of failure, which is T failure. So this is event happening, this is no event and the same thing for the control. The control will be C success for an event occurring and uh, C failure for the event is not occurring. And for specifying effect size, 
select the uh, um, log risk ratio as we are going here to uh, use the effect or calculate the effect size based on the uh, risk ratio we could also click on the model here and we can select whether it is a random effect or common effect or fixed effect and if we stick if we are going to select random effect then the method there are several method that can be uh, selected restricted maximum likelihood hedges uh, hunter schmidt will stick with the uh, first one and for the options here um, we could also add the study label which is the study id and the uh, label for the effect size which is the rr which is the risk ratio so here we had filled most of the uh, section for the setup if we click on submit then as shown here in the output for the stata there were uh, 12 studies and the label for these studies are study id and the um, the study size is meta study size and the input variable or event is a t event occurring in the con on in the treatment no event event in the control no event in the control and the label is risk ratio and a 95 percent confidence interval will be uh, produced and the model uh, uh, chosen are the random effects and it is reml reml method um, if we click move again here into this section and click on summary uh, this is very important as we need to perform subgroup meta-analysis and stick to the random effect model effect models click on the subgroup meta-analysis and choose the factor you want to segregate or split the analysis based on the gender here which is the six so we need to produce in fact two separate meta-analysis one for the male and one for the females if we click on options again no changes to be taken here maximization no changes if i click on submit again a few tables are generated in stata window here and as shown here the table for the group male and the table for group females six studies six studies and the risk ratio for each individual study is calculated with a 95 percent confidence interval with the percentage of a weight and the same for the females and also an overall or pooled risk ratio for the uh, males is calculated and for the females also so calculated with 95 percent confidence interval and the overall without doing segregation without doing subgroup meta-analysis uh, uh, risk ratio is calculated so here for just meta-analysis here for subgroup meta-analysis for the male and for the females and then the next section here is also produced a heterogeneity summary for the male and the uh, females and as shown here the heterogeneity test is based on the q statistics which is based on the chi square and the value is generated and an i squared is given here with a percentage and a p value and as shown here for the males group there is no heterogeneity all the results are homogeneous uh, and the p-value is greater than 0.05 we need the p-value to be higher than 0.05 for the females however um, the i squared there was a high percentage of heterogeneity uh, for the females group as it was 41.4 and the uh, uh, p-value was greater than 0.05 and also uh, a heterogeneity for the overall this is an overall heterogeneity test for the meta-analysis and this is for subgroup meta-analysis and as shown here for the complete meta-analysis is the i squared is 21.5 and the uh, p-value is greater than 0.05 so there is 
low level of heterogeneity for the overall meta-analysis. Back again to the form here to click on the forest plot. So we need to generate a forest plot and again select the random effect uh, model. And for the subgroup, we need to generate a um, forest plot that has two sections in it, one for the male group, one for the females group, then select the subgroup uh, meta-analysis factor, which is the gender. Uh, for the options here, if I take in it, I'm not going to perform any changes for maximization, no changes, but for the forest plot, I'm going to click on the plot options and I'm going to select the draw over all effect size line and click on line options. And I'm going to, uh, let's say, label that in a red color and choose a pattern of uh, let's say dash but let's make it uh, um, um, long dash here and click on accept and for the draw uh, no effect line again click on it click on options and then line options and then let's change the color to select blue and then let's make it dash here click on accept click on ok and then click on OK again and I think we are ready to hit the submit uh, icon here and as shown here a uh, uh, forest plot is generated and there are two sections one for male one for females this in fact is sub meta analysis a forest plot for sub meta analysis and uh, uh, as shown here, there is a section for the males, females, and then overall uh, for the uh, meta-analysis without segregation. As shown here in the plot, it is made up of three sections, the descriptive statistics, the diagrammatic representation of the descriptive statistics, and the third section, which is the overall calculation for the heterogeneity and the pooled effect size. For the first section here, which is the subgroup meta-analysis for the males, the study label is given from one to six, and the number of events, which is labeled here as yes, for the treatment group is given and for control group is given and also the number of no events. And in the uh, far right hand section here is also the risk ratio for each individual study is calculated and uh, inserted as shown here with a 95% confidence interval and a weight percentage. A weight percentage reflects the uh, sample size which will be included in the calculation that will have an impact or influence the overall meta-analysis and this represent higher weight percentage represent higher participant in the studies. So this is again repeated for each individual studies for the male and the female or both sections. And under each um, uh, section or subgroup heterogeneity is calculated for the male group with an i squared which is equal to zero percent and a p value greater than 0 0.05 so there is no heterogeneity among the results and also a p value for the overall effect size so here also an overall risk ratio is calculated which is 1.74 the same thing for the females and as shown here in the second section of the plot which is a diagrammatic representation a square represent the risk ratio for each individual studies there is variation in the size some squares are larger some are small this reflects the size of the uh, part sample or participants number of participants in the study larger squares have larger number of participants and larger weight percentage the horizontal line here is the, the 95 percent confidence interval lower and upper limit 
and the diamond shaped symbol here is the overall risk ratio for the male subgroup and the red dashed line is the line for not the subgroup uh, meta-analysis but for the meta-analysis overall risk ratio which is given here and uh, for the blue line is the line of no effect now here we have the descriptive statistics for the male and the same for females with the uh, risk ratio calculated for each individual study and uh, overall risk ratio for the male and for the females as shown here the risk ratio is 1.74 for males and 1.49 for females so there is a uh, differences between males and females uh, and that's the essence of uh, performing subgroup uh, meta-analysis to find out and compare the groups subgroups and to find whether there is a differences and again for the females the i squared uh, value is given which is 41.4 and a p-value is given here uh, for the heterogeneity test and a p-value for the uh, overall estimate effect size and again we can see from both that this uh, uh, overall risk ratio for males and females is statistically significant as the p-value is less than 0.05 and the uh, risk ratio fit within the 95% confidence interval the final section here which is an overall uh, for uh, for the meta-analysis rather than subgroup meta-analysis and it's shown here if we perform meta-analysis without grouping then the i squared will be 21.5 percentage and the p-value is greater than 0.05 and the estimated or calculated effect size which is the risk ratio is 1.56 uh, with uh, um, a p-value which is significant uh, and also here as it shows that it's also test for group differences so from this forest plot uh, overall risk ratio for males is calculated overall risk ratio for females is calculated this is for the subgroup meta-analysis and for the just meta-analysis an overall risk ratio is also calculated so the objective of drawing the forest plot uh, from either uh, meta-analysis or subgroup meta-analysis to draw a conclusion uh, based on the risk ratio and to compare the finding between sections or subgroups of the data in addition to the forest plot generated a funnel plot can be also produced to test for um, bias in publication i'm going to skip the clicking for heterogeneity or regression and i'm going to click on the publication bias and i'm going to select the options for how to test the publication bias based on funnel plot for graphical diagnostic of st small studies effect we could perform some test here uh, or we can perform the third option and i'm going to stick with the standard funnel plot and for the models we're going to stick with the random and for the options uh, no major changes will be um, done here but we could stick on produce a separate plot by group and we select the uh, gender factor the stata will generate uh, um, two plots one for the male and one for the female so uh, plotting the funnel plot uh, is based on the gender factor and uh, if i click on submit here a funnel plot or plots has been generated from the subgroup meta analysis one for male and one for females we could do a uh, uh, overall uh, funnel plot without segregation but here we look at the funnel plot for the males and the females on the x-axis is the risk ratio for each individual uh, study and on the y-axis is the standard error so this is a scatter plot 
uh, with a funnel shaped and the red line in the middle is the overall risk ratio for the male and for the females and for uh, lack of uh, uh, publication bias the distribution of the effect size which is the risk ratio from the studies has to be evenly distributed above and below this red line so if you look here at the female section we can see or female funnel plot we can see here we have one two three on the right hand side one two three on the left hand side so there we can say here that uh, there is lack of publication bias for the female section um, as the distribution of the effect size or the risk ratio is evenly or there is a symmetry in the distribution for the male section here as we can see two uh, effect size or two risk ratio for from the studies which is one two three four five six two or above the line and one below the line and three uh, on the line so further uh, analysis need to be done here to confirm the publication bias such as uh, um, eagles regression test need to be performed if we are interested in doing funnel plot without segregation back again to the form and untick the produce separate plot by group and click on submit a funnel plot will be generated for the meta analysis or binary meta analysis without segregation and as shown here uh, without uh, considering the sex of individual male or females here we can see that overall there is a bias in publication as here we have one two three four five six seven eight nine nine studies uh, on the right hand section and three on the left hand section so there is no symmetry in distribution of the effect size which for each individual study so there is a um, bias in publication there is a bias in publication for the overall and this also again need to be confirmed by Eagles regression test. So this is the way to perform subgroup meta analysis for a binary outcome based on the effect size, which is risk ratio in Stata and generating a subgroup uh, forest plot and a subgroup funnel plot.